So hello and welcome to part 3 of the Bully Beta map series. Today's episode is strongly focused on Ball with Tain, and we do have quite a few very interesting pre-release screenshots to go over. And by that I don't just mean pre-release material, but actual in-development screenshots. So let's start off the Ball with Tain analysis by going over some beta screenshots, and the first one we'll look at is the rundown closed cinema that was actually up and running during development. And I don't mean Jimmy could just come here and watch movies, but in fact the mission movie tickets was going to take place here, as seen in some pre-release material. This was most likely changed because it kind of makes more sense for Pinky to, you know, kind of stay in her area in the ball with Fail, but it's still unknown why the cinema was changed to actually become closed. But that's not the only change with the cinema, as there's a completely weird interactable button that appears on the stairs just behind the cinema. But pressing it does nothing as Jimmy just... well, he goes to press something but the animation kind of cancels out. This might actually be one of the very few remains of the deleted Christmas mission, where Jimmy would search Bullworth for Christmas presents left by Harrington House. The only reason I believe this is because there are some leftover coordinates in that mission script which actually line up pretty closely with this area. It's still unknown why Jimmy needs to interact with something beforehand though. Another beta screenshot I will show you is actually the earliest known screenshot of Bully in game. It's actually the mission failed screen, so rather annoyingly most of the screenshot is obscured off by the mission failed text. As we have an extremely early hood and radar, which actually seems more reminiscent of uh, Grand Theft Auto 4's, you know, the whole black and white colour scheme, rather than like a coloured radar like we got in San Andreas and Vice City. But anyway, there's actually one massive change here we can notice. If we actually look at the mission fail text, it seems to imply that this was taken during the mission That Bitch, which is a chapter 1 mission. But here we can clearly see Jimmy's in Bullworth Town, specifically the four way streets as we can see the drugstore and rocket in my pocket. Barely. But, as you know, in the final game, Bullworth Town and Bullworth Vale are locked off until Chapter 2. So maybe this means Bullworth Town wasn't going to be locked initially. I think there was an IGN article that did say the gates would be locked during school time, so this kind of adds up. It was probably changed to be locked for the entirety of Chapter 1 so the player doesn't get punished for, you know, exploring the map. But still, this is the earliest known screenshot of Bully that was ever in development. And I really do wish that mission failed text wasn't there. Anyway, another really early screenshot from the same portfolio is the removed BMX upgrading system. Think like GTA San Andreas' Transfender, or the Los Santos Customs from GTA 5. And I know some of you might be thinking, how is this a beta map change? Well, the area still kind of exists, but you might not have noticed it. If you enter any BMX store, and no clip, you'll see this exact area is still in the back, but understandably it's of much lower quality than the screenshots. Possibly implying there was going to be either a real interior somewhere else and the player would just kind of like teleport if they wanted to upgrade their bikes. Or maybe the bike store interiors were going to be changed substantially. But that's not the only store with some changes as there are two completely deleted stores in Bullworth Town. These being Rocket in My Pocket which would let Jimmy buy explosives like the Volcano 4000 and Firecrackers. And there was a record store which would let Jimmy buy custom music. Because during Bully's development, Bully was not going to have a background soundtrack but rather music was going to be something Jimmy could buy and listen to on his MP3 player. Both interiors do sort of work, but if enabled they softlock your game as the interiors are both deleted, but interestingly both store clerks do remain in the game files. These two characters are both Floyd and Nate, and both of these characters can be remodded back into free mode. There are some leftover texturing for the record store too, but these are very few and far between. The motel, which is located not too far from Bullworth Town and just near New Coventry, has an unused doorway which can only be seen by no clipping, and the door blocking it is not one of those doors that NPCs run into when it's like evening time or being chased or whatever. There were rumours that this might have been a safe place for Jimmy, but to be honest I extremely doubt it. But interestingly enough, this might have had something to do with another deleted side mission from Chapter 3, which did take place here and involved Mr Bird and Ms Carvin. The nerd safe base was seemingly changed quite a few times too, if you load up the ID for the original, you end up spawning in a very empty room with only three doors, and the second change is actually with a promo screenshot of the comic book store. And you can tell the door here is one of those generic, never going to be enterable kind of doors. So this could mean the nerd safe face was going to be in a completely different place, or was merged with the comic store to save time for the player. But there is also an unused door in the nerd safe face, which has absolutely nothing inside of it. I can't help but wonder if a collectible is going to be in here, as Jimmy's bedroom has both a rubber band and a Grottles and Gremlins card inside of it. So it kind of makes sense for one of these to be in this room, you know. And finally, just the bus stops really, just the texture trains that were going to be red and white, not yellow and black. Although, interestingly, the red and white designs can still be seen in some very early intro credits. So that's about it for Ball with Town. Surprisingly, not a lot of changes here. There are some really interesting ones, but it seems that Ball with Town was pretty finalised for what it's worth. So thank you for watching this episode, and have a great day.